warm welcome back super excited for today's video because we are going to be doing a full seedling update tour so you can discover some exciting vegetables to inspire your garden Hello everybody, warm welcome back. Yaje here, super excited to share another gardening video with you. I am super pumped for today's video because I am going to take you around my nursery and share with you all of the many plants that I have growing that I started from seeds. I'll share with you the challenges that I have had to face getting these seeds to germinate and then to grow. And I will also share with you where you can find the seeds in case you see some of the plants and then you think or you decide that you want to try them for yourself. If we are just meeting for the first time, hello and thank you for checking out my channel. I am Yaje and I do grow these culturally meaningful African vegetables right here in my backyard in Texas in zone 9A. In this nursery, I have several things growing. I have peppers, all kinds of peppers, bell peppers, super hot peppers, fatali peppers, beber peppers. I'm going to show you all of them. I have garden eggs. These are Nigerian garden eggs, white garden eggs, garden eggs from Cameroon. I have okra, I have jaman jama, I have bambara peanuts. I have a lot of things going on. You might just find something that you know excites your imagination and then gets you started on gardening that is my intention that is my hope to encourage as many people as i can to grow something because i really believe that growing a garden helps you grow your health takes your health to the next level that is why i do this now as we go along and i show you all of these plants you'll probably be thinking oh my goodness what is she going to do with all of those plants I have plants, I have plants, so stick around with me and I will show you what I do with all of these vegetables. Subsequently, I will share the journey with you. So over here, the side of my house, as you can see, it's a small space, is where I have my nursery. Well, I started from here in the backyard and then I moved the plants over here and I'm going to explain why. But this is where I have the nursery, it's a shaded area, you know, you don't want your plants exposed to too, too much sun when they are just starting to grow. The sun can burn them. So this space here is just perfect. I have some down here on the pallets, some on the window, some raised over there. Like that, I'm going to show you and I'm going to explain why. But um, let's just start from here. I'll show you what I have going on. So I have different types of plants growing here, peppers, I have different types of peppers. I have some very hot, rare, exotic specialty peppers like fatali peppers, like scotch bonnet, scorpion peppers, that kind of stuff growing here. I have things like berberry peppers. If you have never heard about berberry peppers, I will tell you about them. I have buena mulata peppers. I have bell peppers. And then I have okra here as well. I have like the uh, white velvet okra. I have hill country red okra and then I have some okra for containers I will show you I will show you in just a moment I also have garden eggs what I have on the windowsill here in the orange container is fatali peppers if you have not heard about fatali peppers they are a super hot pepper it's capsicum chinense so these have heat as well as aroma I am growing them because of that aroma they are originally from the Central African Republic. And um, again, yeah, I'm growing them for the aroma. They had a very high germination rate. So you see, I planted them on the 19th and today is the 22nd. So these are about a month old. And then over here, we have Scotch bonnet peppers. This one is doing very well. I had some growing in here. You see, there's something coming out at night and just cutting the peppers so they were originally down here and i moved them to the window hopefully i will rescue the peppers but here scotch bonnet peppers again it's chinense which means it's extremely hot and if you've heard about like jamaican caribbean type of cuisine jerk it's scotch bonnet peppers so i only try to grow peppers that i cannot find easily or readily um, in, in stores around me 
again i planted these on the 19th and today is the 22nd of april 19th of of march today is the 22nd of april so they are about a month old the blue scotch bonnet pepper. so here i have what are known as berberry peppers i planted them on the 22nd of february berberry peppers are from ethiopia if you know about berberry spice it is a major component of that spice it takes about 85 days to maturity after transplanting so they are a capsicum anum which means that they are not very hot i'm trying them for the first time and then here i have fatali peppers these fatali peppers i bought the seeds from another company i spent a lot of money and the germination rate was not good at all these are yellow fatalis i planted them on the 10th of february today is the 22nd of april and this is all i have to show for for the many seeds that i planted and it's not growing as well i have really struggled with the peppers i'm going to keep an eye but yellow fatalis or fatalis are super hot peppers with an aroma originally from the central african republic and then over here we have buena mulata peppers or what is left of the buena mulata peppers something is coming out at night and eating and just cutting up my plants like that this was fine yesterday as you can see it's been freshly cut but buena mulata peppers are capsicum anum very pretty peppers very pretty peppers i hope i hope they do survive i hope it's not been destroyed i'm going to try to plant more seeds i will and then in the purple containers we have what is known as fish pepper fish peppers they are capsicum anum flavorful great in hot sauces important african-american heirloom so these are i planted them on the 21st so about a month old again that stuff is coming out at night and just eating my fish peppers but i would say they have a good germination rate you know i planted five in here there were five in each box and that's what we have and these here are my garden eggs. These are white, and I'm putting white in quotes because they are not quite white, but they are very good garden eggs. It's my second time growing them. White garden eggs. Again, the seeds are from True Love. If you're looking for garden eggs, I am going to highly, highly recommend that you try this particular one. White garden eggs from True Love Seeds. It germinates really well, grows really, really well. So these are all of the garden eggs. Did you see the cool labeling that I have on knives? See, these knives, nobody ever uses them. Use them to label your plants with. Guess what, guys? I am growing tomatoes this year. I normally do not grow tomatoes because I'm always thinking they are a hassle to grow, to stake, do all of that stuff. It was just overwhelming and daunting for me. So I never grew tomatoes until this year. Um, I'm trying the plate, the Haiti tomatoes. These are supposed to be from Haiti. They were brought in by um, Creole refugees. It says here they were trying to flee some uprising from Haiti. The seeds are from True Love Seeds, you guessed right. So I'm so excited about my tomatoes. They're doing so well. They are ready to go in the ground. All right. These are all peppers, guys. These are scorpion peppers trinidad scorpion peppers they are the super hot peppers and then over here i have more scotch bonnet peppers so i went to heb which is a grocery store and then bought the fresh peppers and just immediately saw the seeds and i thought i could grow them guess what i put them in the garden and they all germinated now i don't know what to do with them when i planted them they looked like this like that i basically just cooked out the seeds and dump them here these ones i tried to remove the seeds one by one and put them here these are the ones that i dumped they all germinated so i have been moving them from here and transferring them to the cups or potting again see that my label on the knives so these are all um scotch bonnet the scotch bonnet ones are bigger and then over here we have the scorpion the hotter the pepper the more difficult it is to grow i don't know but yeah 
these are all seeds from fresh peppers i did not buy the seeds dry i bought the peppers used them to cook my soup with save did not save the seeds immediately planted the fresh seeds and this is what we have these are okras these are baby baba okras i bought the seeds from heb they are meant to grow in containers i had my grandbabies start these from seeds so this is oj's let's see no this is berry baby berry planted this one i have all four of them growing and then baby junior junior is about five years old he planted this ones here there were four of them and then we have three so you can absolutely grow okras in containers they have like that hybrid variety if you have like a container so these are going to go in containers and then elevated over here on pallets are more plants these are some of that heb scotch bonnet peppers in here and then here are a mix of white velvet okra and red okra the seeds got mixed up and so i have everything growing here at this point i cannot tell the difference yes when they eventually produce the fruit i will be able to tell but at this point it's a mix of these two white velvet and hill country red okra i have grown the hill country red okra before the white velvet this is my first time trying it but it's supposed to just be gorgeous and very delicious so i am looking forward to the okras and this is what is referred to as scent leaf scent leaf or holy basil or tulsi vanna so it's a super flavorful herb that is used in african cooking nigerian cooking it's my first time growing the scent leaf from true love seeds i started the seeds on the 22nd of february today the 22nd of april and this is how big it is now i think it's ready for transplanting they are heat loving i have a video on how i started these from seeds so if you're interested you can check out the description box to see how to grow the tulsi vanna that's that holy basil there's a way to to grow it to sow the seeds actually and then this is sweet bitter leaf sweet bitter leaf is different from the other type of bitter leaf this is in Cameroon, we refer to this as Bayangi bitter leaf, sweet bitter leaf. And these are all my bell peppers. I already have eight growing in ground, well, in containers. And I still have about 16 over here and they're doing so well. I bought the seeds from HEB, planted them. They germinated, did very well. And these are ready to be transplanted. And what I have here, more guarded eggs. This is the one from OC Afrique. So it's a Nigerian garden eggs. See, the germination rate is quite high. I planted these on the 8th of April. So these are only about three weeks. And then over here is Nigerian Shoko. The Shoko leaves, first time growing it as well. So that's the Shoko right here. These again are about three weeks old. And uh, this here is a wedu. The wedu is barely coming up. So it's the wedu leaf germinating. This is from OC Afrik. Again, I'm going to put all of the links in the description box. You can check out and get you some seeds. And these are in ground, but I have to show you them because it's my first time growing and I also started them from seeds. So these are Bambara peanuts. They are a rare legume. I'm so excited for these. The Bambara peanuts that I got the seeds from, True Love Seeds. I planted them, I want to say, when was that? But it took about 12 days to germinate. And this is what we're looking at. Let me show you. My Bambara peanuts. Bambara peanuts so far. So this is how it's looking like. I think it's been about a week since they germinated. I have to, I have to check. I'm going to do another video just talking about this Bambara peanuts.